Hello everyone. How is blood pressure (BP) is regulated in human body? Let us understand this concept with the help of a question which is given in previous drug inspector examination. Now look at the question first. Blood pressure is regulated by all of the following except option number one, vasomotor center. Option number two, aortic baroreceptor. Option number three, juxtaglomerular cells. Option number four, loop of Henle. Let us understand every option. First one, vasomotor center. This is a center which is present in our medulla oblongata. It coordinates with cardiovascular center and respiratory center and collectively controls blood pressure. Understand the word vaso means blood pressure. Motor center. Motor means, see, we have two different kinds of sensations out there. Sensory input, motor input. Sensory input means the information goes towards your central nervous system. Motor sensation means information comes from central nervous system to peripheral organs. So whenever there is a fall in blood pressure, the vasomotor center senses it and activates sympathetic nervous system which affects the blood vessel and that rises blood pressure. So this is how vasomotor center control blood pressure. Option number two, aortic baroreceptor. Again understand the word, baro means pressure. So there are certain receptors which will measure the blood pressure and the, they are present in aorta. They are called as aortic baroreceptor. So whenever there is a fall in blood pressure, immediately these receptors senses the fall in blood pressure and increases heart rate. This mechanism increase in heart rate is known as tachycardia. Usually when, pe when people use vasodilators, blood vessel dilates. When blood vessel is dilated, BP falls down. Immediately they will have reflex tachycardia to control blood pressure. So aortic baroreceptor tries to correct the fall in BP by increasing heart rate, tachycardia. So, two. Third option, juxtaglomerular cells. There are specialized cells which are present between efferent arterial and distal convoluted tubule of the nephron. Understand this? At the nephron, there are specialized cells between efferent arterial at the glomerulus and distal convoluted tubule. These cells check the blood pressure and salt concentration. Whenever there is low BP is there, they immediately release, a, release renin. Renin is an enzyme which acts on angiotensin ozone, converts it to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme. Now angiotensin 2 has got two functions. It acts on adrenal gland and releases aldosterone. It acts on blood vessel and causes vasoconstriction. Aldosterone increases fluid retention. Both of them increase BP because the response is there is a reduced BP at the blood vessel. So with this renin release they increase blood pressure. So all the three, the first one uh, uh, vasomotor center, the second one uh, aortic baroreceptor and juxtaglomerular cells, all the three will control blood pressure one or another way. The last one is loop of Henle is an anatomical part in the nephron. It has nothing to do with controlling blood pressure. At the loop of Henle you have a symport called as sodium potassium chloride symport. So reabsorption of all these ions occur at this place. Now the drugs which block this symport cause diuresis. They are called as loop diuretics. Furosemate, bumetamate, thorsemate, all of them. By using the drug this, at, at this anatomical part, the symport is blocked and diuresis occurs. But it will not control. The loop as such will never control blood pressure. Whereas the other three things like vasomotor center, aortic baroreceptor and juxtaglomerular cells, they control blood pressure. So the option Blood pressure is regulated by all of the following except, read the question properly, except means not. The fourth option is the right one. Loop of Henley will not control blood pressure. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.